I'm going to squeeze in Brendan, who's in Gloucester. Brendan, what would you like to say? Hi, James. I'm um, sorry. Um, That's all right. What have you done? Bindi's just completely <laughs> dismantled, you know. What you were going to say? say? you know, times have changed and Little Britain, people used to black up, but no, it, she's... She's absolutely right. Oh, that's so incredibly honest of you, Brandon. Thank you. Are you all right, mate? It's all right. No, hey, that's what we're here for. We listen and we change our minds sometimes. But there's a million people. I would have been in your boat myself, I think, in, in, in slightly different circumstances, because you're thinking of, of the Matt Lucas character, which he's, uh, dis yeah. he's disowned it himself so. as well. But, but people like her... You know? Yes, but there's a difference between doing something racist and being a dyed-in-the-wool racist. No one would accuse... Um, I'm turning into a right old showbiz patsy today, but he's a pal of mine as well. But no one would accuse Matt of being a racist, and yet he fell into the trap of doing something racist on his yeah, on his comedy did. program. So Trudeau did something that Sorry, is... I was going to call him and say... Oh bless you, so Brendan. Be kind to yourself, my friend. Don't, don't, don't. You were not. You're not doing good grief. That's the sound of a conscience in overdrive, my friend. Honestly, you're a good man, and, and uh, that's evidence of it. Don't beat yourself up, please. It's the last thing Bindi would want. I can tell you that for nothing. And I've only just met her. It's coming up to half past twelve. Bless you, Brendan. You're listening to James O'Brien on LBC. Lisa Aziz has your headlines.